Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, Baggage Child, with another one. So, I just got a couple little thoughts, a couple little things on my mind that I just want to get off my chest. You know, a couple little questions, a couple questions that, you know, I bet a lot of y'all think about, but you just don't say to nobody. You know what I mean? Because I know that I used to be one of those people. I used to have these questions all the time in my head, and I never really used to vent them to anybody. I never really used to talk to them, talk to talk to anybody about them. You know what I mean? Until like, you know, until you know, like a year ago, a year and a half ago, whenever I, when I started this spiritual journey that I just, I, I just decided that I made the transformation. I decided, yo, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn. I'm going to express myself. I'm going to be who I, I'm going to be who I am. I'm going to express who I am. You know what I mean? So there's a couple of things. Just, I want to question the norms real quick. Question, question everyday things that we do. Question everyday lifestyle choices that people make question every day question just normal the normal things in society that are that are that are conditioned and and pre conditioned preached about and 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 made it to seem as if these things are just the normal the normal things to do so let me take a sip of water real quick before i get into it ow Number one, why is it considered a normal thing? Why is it considered the norm to go to school and just get a job and work that job the rest of your life? Why is it considered the norm to put yourself into thousands of dollars in debt to go to school to get a job? You feel me? Like, I'm not knocking it if if like you're, if you feel as if your purpose in life is, is, for example, to be like a doctor or to be a nurse or to be an engineer or or something of that nature, or something that requires you to go to school in order to get that job or whatever. You see, in terms of that, then I'm all for following your purpose because that's what we're here for. We're here to fulfill our mission. We're, we're here to complete our mission and follow our purpose and you know fulfill our purpose or whatever. But I'm talking about why is it considered normal? What I'm talking about specifically is why is it considered normal to go to school even though even though you might not know what the fuck you want to do with your life, even though you might not know what your purpose is, you feel me? Why is it considered a normal thing to just go to school and and automatically put out put yourself into put yourself into the negatives, put yourself into thousands of dollars worth of debt in order to in order to, even if you don't know what your purpose is in order to get a job that's going that's supposed to sustain you for the rest of your life. What's supposed to sustain you at least for at least for a certain amount of time you feel me why is it considered normal to do that you feel me because the thing that i think about is it's considered normal to do that yet you see people wake up every day that are in high school who are who are not even who aren't even old enough to drink who aren't even old enough to vote who are waking up every day entrepreneurs making money you feel me? Making millions of dollars. There's people that wake up every day, that Jeff Bezos, that work, wake up every day and make thousands of dollars every second. That make money, that make, there's people that wake up every day that haven't even graduated middle school, haven't even graduated high school. And they waking up every day whenever they want to. They live in life on their own terms, making money and doing what they want to do with their lives. And they don't, and they don't have no, they don't have no schooling to their names why why exactly is it considered a normal thing to go to school and do and put yourself into all this debt and whatnot to get these to get these jobs when you can easily you can easily take that same amount of money let's say let's say this is a low number too this is a low number if you if you're taking out a loan or whatever you are taking out loans like for four years or at a at a at, a, at the average school, average university, or whatever. Let's say you let's say you like sixty thousand dollars in debt, and that's like a that's a low number because I believe I believe the average debt is like what eighty thousand dollars by the end by the end of four years. The average debt, student loan debt or whatever, is like eighty thousand dollars. Nigga, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is considered. It's crazy. Hold up. It's just considered crazy to me that it's considered normal. To just, it's considered normal to put yourself into a negative, into the negative $80,000. It's considered a normal thing to put yourself negative $80,000 just to get you a job. To get you a job that 
probably don't even make you that same amount of money in a year. There's people out here that spend 10, 20 years paying off those student loans that they took out. But I digress. Why is it's just like, why is it considered normal to do these things? When you could take that same money, you could take that sixty, eighty thousand dollars or whatever, and you could take that, you can invest into a business. You could invest it into multiple different types of courses. You could invest it into stocks. You can invest even if you do, even if you don't know shit. If you don't know shit, bro, you can you can take a thousand dollars. You could take two hundred dollars. You could, bro, you could take a thousand dollars and buy multiple different courses that can teach you different ways to make money. Teach you different sources of income that you can ha that you could have to make money for yourself. Like. You could take that same amount of money, buy and buy a shop, buy a buy a store, run a store. You could take that same amount of money and buy some property, put some down payments on some property, have some rental property, have some real estate. You could take that same amount of money and do so many things with it to make money with it. You could like, but it's considered a normal thing to take that money and instead invest it completely into getting a degree. Into getting a degree. I'm not like I said in the beginning, I'm not knocking you if you had if you if that's what you feel your life purpose is, you feel me? I'm not knocking education either because we all need to be educated. But education isn't solely education isn't solely dependent upon the amount of degrees that you have, because an educated per an educated person is not a person who has one, two, three, four degrees. An educated person is a person who educates themselves in a certain skill or many or many other skills or certain or a certain or a certain um a certain area of expertise, certain area of knowledge, or certain or different areas of knowledge and whatever, and you know, edu educates themselves in those things and become and and uses those things and applies those things to the real world out outside of them, manifests what the reality that they want for themselves. You feel me? That's what an educated person is, at least to me. At least to me, an educated person is a person that 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 take that takes their time, takes their time to to learn takes their time to learn and not only learn but extensively too. learn extensively learn and to in extensively intensely and it, and because you could easily go to college and i know i did this man you could easily go to college and cheat your cheat your way through you could easily have a 3.0 cheating nigga i remember there was a i remember there was some classes in college i took so I remember there was classes in college I took. No funny shit. I swear to God, there was some classes in college I took where literally I cheated my whole way through. I'm being, I'm keeping, I'm being a hundred. I'm keeping it a hundred. Yo, I cheated my whole way through. I didn't study for a single test, nigga. Every time there was a test, I remember there was one. Bro, I remember there was one class. The teacher was so oblivious. The teacher was so oblivious. This nigga let you cheat, bro. The the test will come, the quiz will come, and literally everybody would be on their phones looking up the answers. I remember at one point, the whole class made a group chat. The whole class made a group chat for when the te for when tests and quizzes came, just so we could all put the answers into the group chat so everything was easier for each other. Like, bruh, bruh, I, this is what I'm saying, my nigga. Like, it's it's some type. It's honestly some type of trap. It it really is a trap. It really is a trap for some, for some people, for some people. I'm not, I gotta, I gotta keep saying it because some niggas going to be li listening to me and just like, oh, but, oh, but I got a do, I got a degree. My parents got a degree and, and now we live in our lives because of the degree that they got. I'm not, I'm not talking about you, bro. I'm not talking about your parents, bro. I'm not talking about those people. If you feel that your life purpose is, I'm going to say it again. It's like our third time saying, if you feel your life purpose is to get a degree and, or maybe not to get a degree, but to get a certain job or get, or learn a certain skill and you, and that certain skill or job requires that degree in order for you to, to get it, to, in order for you to fulfill that. Man, oh, by all means, do your motherfucking thing. I'm all about fulfilling your purpose and fulfilling your life's mission. But to make that, to make it a normal, to make it normal, to put yourself into, into this huge debt, to put yourself through school is just insane. That's insanity. 
it's insanity and it's it's insane you go through school and it's little you'll be a little ass kid i remember being a little kid being in like fourth or fifth grade and seeing commercials on tv about college and going away to college and my teachers my teach i remember being fourth and fifth grade my teachers talking about oh like when you get older when you get a lot older you just you're gonna have to go to college and whatnot you feel me you have to you have to do this you have to do that it's just like damn like why exactly like why are you priming children to think this way why are you priming children to think as if going to college is just the way as if going to college is the only way you feel me when it's not you don't need a degree to make money and that's just a fact you don't need a degree to be successful you don't need you don't need to go to an institution and get a piece of paper that's it to get a piece of paper to feel like you're educated look at that if you there's a saying you read if you read three books on the subject then you know not you know 90 percent more about that subject um no it was like if you read three books on a subject you know more about that subject than 90 percent of people you feel me so it's just like it's like why is there this why is there this stigma why is there this this sense of normalcy, as if people were just sleep, as if people were just walking around with their heads cut off and just accepting, accepting the norms, as if accepting your norms as if this is how it should be. As if this is just just saying like, oh, this is how it is, so that's how it should be. When it it's not it shouldn't be like that, bruh. You sitting here, you living life. My nigga, you didn't come here to you didn't come here to do what everybody else is doing. You came here to do what you want to do. You came here to fulfill your purpose in life. If you feel your purpose in life is getting getting a degree, then by all means do that. But, bruh, it's like, that's all I'm saying, man. So, I know this is this is kind of a long video. I kind of went on a long tangent about just one thing. I meant to, I meant to make this video about a couple different things, a couple different thoughts that I was having. But I don't want to make this video too long. You feel me? You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in one more, one more thing that I was thinking about also. Why is it a normal thing to to have a carnivorous diet as well? Why is it a normal? Why why is it considered normal to eat to eat meat, eat fish, to eat poultry, eat freaking um eat um eat all these different things, eat all these different animal products? Why is it considered normal to to eat fast food why is it considered normal to do all these different things when when in reality in reality in the real world in the real world in reality god the creator god the creator whatever you want to call it made 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 food for us provided everything that we need on this planet for us and for every and for all the other animals every animal Every animal has what it needs on this planet. Fit, fish eat what they eat. Lions eat what they eat. Deer eat what they eat. Deer eat. Deer eat the the earth. Lions eat, lions eat other animals. Fucking fish eat what the whatever the fuck fish eat. Why is it that us humans? Why is it that us humans have such a hard time defining what it is that we're supposed to eat? Why is there so much controversy over over what's like the right correct diet for us people to eat when when in reality God made it the creator made it so that every different animal has what their thing is to eat God provided what we need already nigga God provided fruits and fruits vegetables herbs the plants everything for us to eat God provided nature for us to consume God didn't intend for us to be consuming other animals and whatnot and whatnot. Because if he did, then nigga, why the fuck would we have herbivore teeth? Why the fuck? Then why the fuck? Then why the fuck is it? Why the fuck is it? If God intended for us to be eating meat and other animals and shit, then why is it exactly that when you do that? Why is it exactly that you got to cook animals before you eat them? Why do you have to kill the animals before you eat them or else you get sick? Why do you have to do all these things? Why? Because in reality, you're supposed to just be able to pick an apple from a tree or pick a, pick a banana from a tree and eat it. You're supposed to be able to pick up something from the ground and put it in your mouth and eat it. Like, why, 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 why exactly is there so much controversy, so much 
just why is why do we put so much effort in thinking about these things when when the answers are right in front of us? Why is it that it's all right for Popeyes and motherfucking McDonald's, fucking pop poison, nigga, and McDevils to fucking promote provoke their their poison ass food on TV to us, to our children, to children, to everybody? Why is it all right for these people to promote this shit to us? Like, have you, have niggas ever really thought, am I the only one, my nigga? Why is it that it's all right to promote this poison ass food on TV, on the radio, on all this? Why is it all right to promote poison? But then, but then weed is illegal. Weed is a motherfucking plant. Weed is a herb. Yes, it's, it's not, it's not really good for your lungs if you smoke it or whatnot. But if you eat it, if you eat it or you drink it, you cooling, you're chilling. Bro, why is it all right that poison gets promoted on TV. Why is it all right to eat motherfucking poison? You see, you go to your nearest Popeyes, you see that shit. You see niggas lined up around the block. I've seen it. I've seen it. You see niggas lined up around the fucking block to get a pot poison chicken sandwich, nigga. You see niggas lined up around the block to get a poison chicken sandwich. But then... But then when you say you vegan or when you say you're vegetarian, niggas look at you like, damn, bro, I can never do that. I need my meat. Like, like, bro, I don't understand. How is it that it's so it's so it's it's conditioned to us that it's all right to eat this poison ass shit to eat this to eat Popeye's McDonald's this shit, not even real meat. Why is it all right for us to eat this, but then, but then niggas look at you different, look at you as something special. If you eat, if you a vegan, if you're a vegetarian, if you're eating what God provided for us, why is it all right to per, to eat all this unnatural processed fake ass food? But then when you eat in the shit that God provided for you, then you looked at as special. Then you looked at as weird. Then you looked at as different. Yo, I heard the Bible said this. I don't know what, what exactly the quote or the verse was. But I know the Bible says something like, like, uh, what the fuck did it say? It's something like, oh, like the, like the, the real, the real, the real would be, the real would be made unacceptable and, and the fake would be made acceptable or like the, the unnatural would be, would be looked at as natural and the natural would be looked at as unnatural. Some, some shit like that. I don't, I don't know the exact quote, but it's just crazy to me, man. Like, I just don't understand. I just don't understand like how we got to this point. How the fuck did we get to this point? How the fuck did we get to a point where where niggas how the fuck did we get to a point where some people got to look up the benefits of drinking water? How the fuck did we get to the point where you got to look up the benefits of drinking water? Why how the fuck how the fuck do we get to a point where you got to where some people have to do research on eating on eating fruits and vegetables to see if that's better for you than eating meat and animals. How do, how the fuck do we get to a point where where some people think drinking shit like Gatorade is better is better than drinking natural spring water? How the fuck do we get to this point? How the fuck did we get to this point? Yo. But that's just my thoughts, man. So that's just my thoughts on everything, man. I got a lot more in my head, but it's very already a little bit too long. I got to hit the gym. So that's just what I got for now, man. But tune in, tune in for a lot more because I got a lot more coming. I got a lot, I got a lot better content coming, a lot, of more, a lot more thoughts coming out of my head at y'all, man. Like, I got a lot more coming, man. I got some, I got some stuff cooking up, you know what I mean? Because I'm out here. I'm living life. I'm doing my thing, bro. I'm doing my thing. I love life. Life is fucking beautiful. Life is a great thing. Every day I wake up and I'm just like, damn, like I'm just amazed. Sometimes I just be amazed by just, I just be amazed looking at a, at a tree. I just be amazed looking at birds sometimes. Just like, damn, bro. Like sometimes I be look, I be looking at birds just like, wow, like look at this creature. Look at this being. It's so complex. So complex this being is. Like, how like how why is it how is it that these birds just know how to communicate with each other know what to sing know what to say to each other know know how to fly together know how to do all these different things how is it that a tree 
how is it that a tree is able to just sprout and and just just be i don't know man that's just me but it's your boy spiritual benz john benzan i'm out here man do your thing and remember the motto is be better than yesterday peace